We have discussed electric motors before. This is a short review. The way electric motors work is based on electromagnetic principles. If current is run through a coil of wires, an electromagnet is created. If you put it inside of another real magnet, the north pole of the electromagnet will be attracted to the south pole of the real magnet and repelled by the north pole of the real magnet, just the opposite for the south pole of the electromagnet. At best, that would cause one half turn to take place. So the trick is to switch the poles of the electromagnet back and forth. That is done in this illustration with the commutator and the brushes. Brushes are just touching, here's one on the right, are just touching that commutator. And the one on the left is doing the same thing on the other side. Just touching the commutator, they're not connected. They could be able to connect because when the shaft spins, the wires would get all tangled up. So they just touch it. Notice that the, the brush on the right goes to the negative side of the battery and the brush on the left goes to the positive side of the battery. Notice that the commutator is really two halves of a cylinder that are not connected to one another. So there's a gap here, there's a gap on the other side. So it, it's not a complete cylinder. It's actually two half cylinders. They aren't touching each other. They aren't connected. Uh, one commutator is connected to one of the brushes, and one commutator is connected to the other side of the brush, the other brush. As the shaft spins, the brushes will switch sides, which causes the commutator, which is connected to the coil, the commutator going to the coil this side, and that one is going to the other one. As the commutator, the shaft spins, the commutator will spin, and so the commutator will go to the different brush as it spins, and that will cause the coil to get to run positive to negative and then negative to positive. And that will cause the electromagnet that's created by the coil to switch poles north to south. And this, that will cause it to, here you see the south, it's spinning, it's spinning this way. So the south is going towards the north. That would lock. But as it switches sides, as the positive and negative switch, that south right here will turn into north. And so then it will be repelled by this side, attracted to this side, so it'll keep spinning in this direction. Here's another illustration. It looks completely different, but it's the same idea as the last illustration. Can you identify the real magnet in this one? Hopefully you found it, it's, it's right here at the bottom and the sides. Here's the north end of, the ma of that magnet. Here's the south end of that magnet. Can you identify the coil? Well, in this case, it's the green wire in the middle. Notice it's connected to these green commutators. And that's what I'm gonna ask you to next. So the, the coil and the commutator, one end of the coil is connected to one of the commutators, the other end of the coil is connected to the other commutator. What about the brushes? Well, the brushes are these red things right here. There's one on this side, there's one on that side. And then we go, one brush One brush goes off to one side of the battery and one brush goes off to the other side of the battery. It doesn't say positive or negative, but we could say that one's negative and that one's, that one's positive, sorry, and that one's negative. It doesn't matter which one's which, as long as they're different. Okay, so as the as this spins, the commutator is going to switch sides. As it switches sides from positive to negative, the electromagnet the coil creates is going to switch from north to south. And so at this point, it's attracted. It's going to go that way. It's attracted. But as soon as it gets here, we're going to switch sides. It's going to become south and so get repelled by this side. So here it is. Illustrate it. Notice the commutator is switching back and forth to the different 
brushes. One brush is positive, one brush is negative. That causes the electromagnet to switch north-south, so it's attracted, then repelled, attracted, then repelled, attracted, then repelled. Here's a definition for your notes, if you want. The most important thing is, the, is right here at the top. Electromag ele electric motor converts electric energy to mechanical energy. That's the key part. Okay? The rest is trying to summarize as few words as possible. You might want to use more words than this, whatever you think is necessary in your notes. But once again, the most important thing here is right here. This and the, the, this this sentence right here converts electrical energy to mechanical energy. Here are some small motors. This is what you find in a toy or an RC car. They look like that on the inside. Here's some larger motors. And here's a comparison of the core and or correspondence if you want uh, and and yet opposite natures of the electro motor and the electric generator okay. uh, there's an assignment that goes along with this uh, with this um, video that'll ask you it's a focus assignment that asks you to compare these two to each other 